you're going to have a lot of things come against you. You're going to have people that tell you to stop. You're going to have challenges that tell you to stop. And you're going to feel like giving up every damn day because you'll feel like life is beating you over and over. Legends aren't defined by their successes. They're defined by how they bounce back from their failures. The highs I've experienced, they were only possible by how I bounced back from the lows. From those moments when I wondered if it was worth it, or if I was wasting my time, or if I was good enough. People are gonna think you're crazy. And sometimes you're gonna think you're crazy. You're gonna question yourself. It takes guts, ladies and gentlemen, to go through that. People used to laugh at me in Detroit when I was sleeping on the floor of my office in the Penobscot building. It was rough, ladies and gentlemen, it was not easy. When I was laying on the floor looking out of the window, when I was questioning myself, Les, can you do this? I was questioning myself. When you have a dream, the one thing you have to watch out for are those out there that will try to crush your dream. And you cannot allow that to happen. That is your biggest challenge. It's necessary, ladies and gentlemen, that you look at the people in your life. Who do you have yourself surrounded with? It's necessary, ladies and gentlemen, that you get the energy drainers out of your life, the dream busters. Get them out of your life. They will deplete your energy. They're going to laugh at you. You got to stop looking to others for support and look inside yourself. The lion in you never retreats. Imagine us taking the lion approach to life. I ain't backing up. A lion don't walk backwards for nothing. You got to tell yourself, I can do this. You're more powerful than you realize. You're stronger than you think you are. You can survive more than you think you can. You're more capable than you can possibly imagine. It was necessary that I face a lot of rejection, a lot of laughter, a lot of no's in order to get here, to enjoy the level of success. It was necessary that I face that. And I'm saying to you, when you're facing those rejections day in and day out, don't say, I had a bad day today. Say, I had a character building day. We can be active participants in our being here, or we can be victims. Before anything can take place, you've got to believe in your heart of hearts that it's possible that you can beat this. And this is when your mind has to, to change. You got to start thinking, I'm the greatest motherfucker in the world. You have to arm in your mind. Start preparing yourself for what's out here in life. Build confidence. Build self-esteem. The hardest thing in the world is to believe in you, to believe you're special, to believe you're different, to believe you're supposed to be somebody. The hardest thing in the world is in spite of all your fears, all your worries, all your doubt, all your feelings of inadequacy, is to believe in yourself one more time, to pick yourself up off the mat one more time. Anybody can believe when the struggle is over. But I want to talk to some people who are in the middle of the struggle and you still believe. I know you're tired. I know your arms are aching. I know your mind is frustrated. I know you feel like it's not fair. I know you feel like throwing up your hands and you're depressed and you lost loved ones and you've been through heartaches and it's not the best time in your life. All hell might be breaking loose in your life, but tell them I can do it. If it don't happen, I can do it. If you don't love me, I can do it. If you don't want me, I can do it. If you leave me, I can do it. If you betray me, I can do it. You got to talk to yourself. Sometimes healing takes takes place first in the spirit. You gotta tell yourself, I can do this. I got what it takes. I will not be defeated. Wouldn't it be amazing if you believe that? Wouldn't you sleep good tonight if you believe that? Wouldn't you walk around with your head up and your back straight if you believe that? You wouldn't be intimidated by anybody, anywhere, at any time if you just believe that. So you've got to decide, you've got to say, it's possible that I can beat this. It's necessary that I do this. You've got to mobilize your mind and your spirit that I can find a solution. I'm not through yet. I've got some purpose that I've got to fulfill. I've got some work. I have an assignment that's incomplete. I'm not through yet. I'm not going out like this. I'm going to fight. 
And it's necessary that you take charge, that you begin to stand up with inside of yourself, that you dry your tears and you're not given the luxury of feeling sorry for yourself, that you get busy, that you start doing research and asking questions, that you got to get in a fighting mode. You can't surrender. You can't be a chump. You got to fight back. You got to stand up and start. So wait a minute. What is it I need to do? You got to make yourself move even if it hurts. Your belief must be so strong that when people doubt you, ridicule you, and come against you, it's nothing but a minor inconvenience. You've got to really do the prayer, meditation, journaling, affirmation, declarations, and be around people who really don't care that much about what people think of them. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? Your belief, your faith, your drive, your determination, your persistence, your perseverance, your spirit. Greater is he that is in you than what's out here in this world.